I'm Father Daniel Bowen, currently the Director of Vocations of the Order of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Mercy, or the Mercedarian Friars here in the United States of America. And, and right now I'm going to give you a brief history of the Mercedarian Friars here in the United States. But before we get started, let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Mary, our Mother of Mercy, the fullness of God's own mercy dwells in you. With the eyes of a mother, look upon your sons and daughters. Intercede for everyone who suffers in body or soul, and for all who are enslaved in mind or spirit. We give ourselves to you totally, mind, heart, and senses. Keep them and help us always to be a sign of God's love. Reveal to us what it means to be yours and teach us to live in that same generosity with which you responded to the grace of Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The first continuous presence of the Mercedarian Friars in the United States dates back to 1915, when four Italian Mercedarian Friars working in Mexico, in order to escape the Mexican Revolution and the persecution that was particularly inflicted upon foreign priests, decided to seek refuge in the United States of America. However, there was no Mercedarian house in the United States at that time, so they came here also with the hope a founding one. Unable to speak English, and despite their stated desire to work among Italian immigrants, they found that the U.S. bishops were opposed to granting them a place to establish a religious house. At most, they could be placed as assistants at different parishes. Now, under these circumstances, three of the priests accepted the solution, ultimately leaving the Mercedarian order. However, Father Martin Campagno wandered from one diocese to another. He did not give up on his idea of finding a bishop who would authorize the establishment of a Mercedarian house. Finally, the Bishop of Cleveland, Ohio, Archbishop Bishop Joseph Schrenz, in a letter dated October 1, 1921, gave his permission for the presence of a Mercedarian community in his diocese and granted him residency in the city of Youngstown, where he was to administer the Italian parish of St. Anthony. On October 30th, Father Campagno officially took possession of St. Anthony Church in the Briar Hill section of Youngstown. This parish was emerging from a difficult situation because the priest who administered it since the death of the pastor did not want to be transferred elsewhere. Backed by popular sentiment, he separated from the Catholic Church and established an autonomous group, stripping the parish church of everything to establish the new religious center. The Church of St. Anthony remained closed for three years because no priest could go near it, and the people were literally divided. It seemed an impossible situation, perfect for the Mercedarians. To develop the new foundation, Father Campagno sent a request to the Master General of the Order, the very Reverend Innocent Lopez Santa Maria, for the help of additional Mercedarian religious. Since Father Campagno belonged to the Roman province, the General passed the request on to the provincial, Father Adolfo Lundey, who discussed the issue with his counselors in early January of 1922. Expressing his support for the mission, the Provincial Council approved it. On May 7, 1922, Father Sante Gattuso and Father Antonio Ayosa left Italy for America, and on the 23rd, they joined Father Campagno in Youngstown. The bishop's purposes in entrusting this type of work to the Order of Mercy was to resolve the very painful spiritual and moral situation a captivity of the Italian population residing in the diocese. For you see, this group was completely abandoned, neglected, and often disliked by priests of other nationalities, and socially they were scorned 
insulted, and compelled to perform the most menial of jobs. One can only marvel at the difficult, self-sacrificing, patient, and tiring work that the religious of the Order of Mercy had to perform in order to bring that population back to the practice of the Catholic faith, where the parish and the people had been placed truly in a disastrous condition. However, slowly but surely, the majority of the people took stock of their situation and began to return to the fold, but often in a state of religious indifference and with a distrust of the priests. In this context, the work entrusted to the Mercedarian order was a good test of their priestly and redemptive labor. Over the two years since the religious of the order had arrived there, parish membership at St. Anthony's had increased to about 500 families. In early December 1923, after seeing the positive experience in Youngstown, the Bishop of Cleveland offered to the Mercedarians two parishes, one on the east and the other on the west side areas of the city of Cleveland, that of St. Rocco, entrusted to Father Sante Gattuso, and that of Holy Redeemer to Father Martin Campagno, a parish which the order would leave in early 1940, following Father Campagno's death. The religious moved to Cleveland in the first half of 1924, where they immediately began their apostolic work and in spreading devotion to Our Lady of Mercy. Later on, other Mercedarian religious arrived, and among them, in December 1928, Father Vincent Caruso, who was entrusted with an area located not too far from St. Rocco's, where the chapel of Mount Carmel existed, and which has eventually developed to become a robust parish and the seat of a new Mercedarian community. The parish activity with the faithful of the west side of Cleveland was developed alongside that of a parish school for the children, which still continues today. Meanwhile, in seeing the good work that was to be done and recognizing the lack of personnel in order to do it, the idea of opening a novitiate in the United States for native vocations began to be thought of amongst the friars. But in order to do this, it was necessary to have an appropriate formation house. With many sacrifices, a property located in Hudson, Ohio was purchased from the Case family, where the novitiate was erected in 1932 with the necessary permission. This novitiate, due to its remoteness from Cleveland, in the year 1942 was transferred to another property located in Middleburg Heights, Ohio, which is still located in the Diocese of Cleveland. And then finally, in the year 1947, the Formation House was again relocated outside of the Diocese of Cleveland to Leroy, New York, in the Diocese of Buffalo, New York. Where, in 1999, in November, the Mercedarians were also given charge of two nearby churches, the Parish of St. Peter with the Mission of St. Anthony in Lime Rock. Following a diocesan-wide restructuring in 2008, the Mercedarians were given the administration of Our Lady of Mercy Parish in Leroy and St. Bridget's Parish in Bergen, New York. Initially, the Mercedarian students went to study with the Franciscans of Teutopolis, but in 1968, it was decided to open a house of studies in Niagara Falls as a dependent house of Leroy. This solution was only temporary, awaiting a better solution, which took place in the summer of 1978, when the student house, the Monastery of Our Lady of Mercy, was opened in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. From this location, seminarians studied at St. Charles Borromeo Seminary and brothers at other nearby Catholic colleges. In the year 2005, pastoral work was also taken up in Philadelphia at the parish of Our Lady of Lourdes, with the establishment of a new community. The desire to grow and establish the Mercedarian presence in other dioceses continued in the hearts of the confreres. In January 1984, taking into account the ordinations that would soon take place, a house was opened 
in St. Petersburg, Florida, whose developing diocese was in great need of prison chaplains and teachers. In 1998, the religious of St. Petersburg were also given the pastoral care of Transfiguration Parish, which they administered until 2006. The Houses of the United States of America, by a decree of the Master General given on the 29th of May, 1988, were established as a vicariat, which gives a certain amount of independence from the mother provost, so that the mercenary presence in the United States of America starts to work towards becoming an autonomous province, once it's reached those conditions set forth by the constitutions of the order. This goal, the general chapter of 2004, gave its approval. With the establishment of this vicariate, the lives of the mercenary and friars in the United States have set out towards this new goal, to achieve independence from the Roman province by forming a new province of the order right here in this land. May the good Lord and Our Lady of Mercy bless us and grant us as many holy vocations as necessary to attain this goal. Also, there further needs to be acknowledged the enhancement of the Mercedarian presence, which has been strengthened by the Mercedarian congregations of women here in the United States, particularly the Mercedarian Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament, Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy, Mercedarian Missionaries of Baritz, Mercedarian Missionaries of Brazil, and the Mercedarian Missionaries of Barcelona. Also, the assistance and support of the lay associations of the Mercedarians, or Third Order Mercedarians must be mentioned and thanked for all that they have done and that they continue to do in this redemptive ministry. The Mercedarian presence in this great, immense nation is certainly a small phenomena in the grand scheme of time. However, even its insignificance, it is a sign of the ideal of charity for the consecrated religious the ideal that the Mercedarian name represents and serves as an occasion to know the Blessed Virgin Mother of God under the invocation of Merced, of mercy, of ransom, that admirable collaborator in the redeeming work of Christ. And with her heavenly assistance, may we, the Mercedarians, establish and more fully develop in this nation, in these United States of America, the immense heritage of redemptive love handed down over these 800 plus years of the existence of this order, to bring this most necessary charism of visiting and freeing captives, even at the sacrifice of our own lives, to the present day and to the new generations in our midst. To boldly proclaim that heritage won for us by the sacrifice of the pioneers in this adventure undertaken in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Redeemer, and of the Mercedarian ideal inspired by Our Lady of Mercy, carried forth by St. Peter Nolasco and those who have followed him. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father most holy, though you call all the faithful to perfect charity, nevertheless you ceaselessly inspire many to follow more closely in the footsteps of your Son. Increase our Mercedarian family through more vocations. Grant that we may be a sign and witness to your kingdom before the Church and before the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.